Good evening everyone this is Manas Patnaik your friend and tutor welcome to chapter 2 this is going to be cycloidal curves and in volume a very interesting chapter indeed so far in the curriculum of engineering drawing we have gone through as many as i mean four curves like ellipse parabola hyperbola and rectangular hyperbola as far as circle and triangles are concerned well these are the conic sections which you have already gone through uh, in your school curriculum i'm sure but as far as the construction of these set of curves are concerned we have already gone through all of this in the previous chapter do watch all the videos okay and all the techniques have been very beautifully explained with simplest of demonstrations from today the journey of special curves begins and we are going to kick off this journey with learning cycloidal curves in which we have got cycloids itself and then there are two different versions of cycloids in the form of epicycloid and hypocycloid so we will be discussing the basic idea of all of these cycloidal curves as well as the different as well as the construction techniques right let's begin i think we can start from uh, cycloid itself okay there are going to be a few new terms uh, which i'm going to make you familiar with don't worry here we go cycloid okay the first thing is to read the definition and i'm sure after reading the definition आपको कुछ नहीं समझ में आने वाला है ठीक है यू वोट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एनी थिंग बट वेन आई शो यू द डेमोस्ट्रेशन थिंग्स आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टू फॉल इन प्लेस अ साइक्लॉइड इज अ कर्व जनरेटेड बाय अ पॉइंट पी ऑन दी सर्कम फ्रेंस ऑफ अ सर्कल ओके देर सीम्स टू बी समाइंड ऑफ सर्कल एंड देन ऑन दी सर्कम फ्रेंस देर इज अ पॉइंट एंड दैट पॉइंट इट सेल्फ जनरेट्स दी कर्व राइट दिस इज दिस इज वॉट आई कैन एक्सट्रैक्ट अंटिल हिया which moves along a straight line without slipping okay again very interesting so it's it's something like this so there is a straight line and then there is a circle which is rolling on the straight line watch this carefully what we are going to do is we are going to place a point here this yellow color point that you see we are going to place a point on the circumference and then as the circle starts rolling we are going to keep a track of this point keeping a track of this point but how to do that let's say we simply push this circle right it will start rolling sir like this isn't it like this and here it has completed one revolution let, let let us get get this this rolling circle back to its initial position like this okay watch this again this is the initial position of the rolling circle and what we've done is uh, we have a track this is the track basically a straight line okay on to which the circle is going to roll secondly we have marked a point on the circumference the bottommost point on the circumference of the circle what we are basically going to do is we are going to keep a track of this point so let's say that the circle has slightly moved this way the point has gone above and slightly towards the right as the circle rolls further the point will go further towards the right and further upwards so when it is has done or completed half revolution you can see that the point is at the apex okay of its journey and then it is going to be on its way down and this is where exactly one revolution finishes there is one more thing which i have done let me tell you that okay so uh, i clicked the picture this is a picture i clicked then this is the first position i clicked another picture second position another picture third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth so i have clicked as many as eight pictures and i'm going to stick all of those picture pictures back to back and they are transparent what i observe is like this okay different stages of the rolling circle and more importantly different stages of this this point which i marked initially on the circumference beautiful isn't it it is it is actually following a special pattern when you when you join all of these points in proper sequence what you have my friend is a curve popularly known as a cycloid right this over here is a cycloid i'm sure now you have understood what exactly a cycloid is and uh, well if you have been studying math then you know why this is pi d because for one revolution the horizontal distance traveled will be equal to its circumference you can write it as 2 pi r you can write it as simply pi d okay both of them are correct okay so that was all about cycloids so in the first 5 minutes we discussed cycloids and if you have understood this core idea okay of this point moving 
then I'm sure that you will be able to understand the idea behind an epicycloid as well as a hypocycloid. Let's take a look at both of them one by one. Let's read the definition. Again, there is going to be a rolling circle, remember. Okay, curve generated by a point P. So there is a point P on the circumference of a circle, rolling circle, which rolls outside a circle. Okay, so there are basically two circles. One of them is fixed, right? Something like this. This circle happens to be fixed. This one, bigger one, let's say. That is the directing circle. And then we have this circle, which is known as the rolling circle or generating circle also. Okay, in some of the books, you are going to find this name of generating circles. So this is rolling. I have marked the direction in the clockwise sense, let's say. Now, the radius of rolling circle is uh, represented by small r, whereas the radius of directing circle has been represented by capital R. So far, so good, no problem. So once it starts rolling, okay, you need to keep a track of this very point. Okay. Okay. Now I've clicked a photo also. More. I've clicked a photo again. Photo, 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 photo. <laughs> so I've clicked as many as eight pictures, right? Eight snaps. And I'm going to place all of those snaps back to back. And they happen to be very transparent. What I observe is this. Right? Beautiful, isn't it? When you join all of these points, let me zoom in to, to just appreciate the beauty of this curve. When you join all of these points in proper sequence, what you have is a beautiful curve by the name of epicycloid. Right? This is something that you are going to draw freehand and I'm going to teach you the, the standard procedure to create a curve like this. One more thing that you need to remember that in the previous case, we saw that uh, in one revolution, the distance that it has traveled is pi d. But here, the case is slightly different. In one revolution, yes, this distance is going to be pi d. But what we are mainly concerned about is if it started from a point over here and it ended over here, the angle that it subtends is going to be 360 into r over r. This is something that all of you guys must remember because uh, once you start making an epicycloid or a hypocycloid, you need this very angle. So you need to buy the formula. Okay. That's epicycloid. Third. Third curve is going to be hypocycloid. Again, a very interesting one. The difference from epicycloid being that it is going to roll inside the directing circle. Let's see. Okay. Remember, the definition is completely same, but the only difference is it rolls inside. And here it was rolling outside, inside, outside, epicycloid, inside, hypocycloid. That's the difference. Let's have the circles. One of them is fixed. The bigger one, I've fixed it. The name is directing circle. While the other circle, which is going to roll, and that to inside, is the rolling circle or the generating circle. Let's take a look what happens when it starts rolling. Snapshot one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. You can get it back. <laughs> you can get it forward. So this basically is rolling in the anti-clockwise sense. Okay. Can you observe it? This is rolling in the anti-clockwise sense. Okay. So far, so good. Now I've taken all these snapshots and I'm going to place them together. Once I do that, making sure that they are transparent, you're going to have a picture like this. Okay. So you can explore the timeline of this very point as well as the rolling circle. And when you join all of these points in proper sequence, what you have is a beautiful curve by the name of hypocycloid, right? So once we start uh, learning the construction techniques of all of them, we are also going to learn how to put tangent and normal at any point on the curve. So that was all for today. Thank you.